before I start this juicy story and interesting story, I do have to say that my birthday is coming up, which is gonna be, which is tomorrow. So, this is gonna be a awesome birthday. So, if you guys want to say happy birthday, you could say in the comments or on Discord. And if you guys want to see more, like and subscribe. I am trying to make this that we can teach our entire careers in the editing software, but it's just going to be a bit hard. So, yeah, I'm struggling to do this thing. So, uh, yeah. Enjoy this video. Grab some popcorn and soda. And enjoy this story of Patrick. So Patrick was a sixth and fourth. He was practicing to be on Bayre, a team. He was practicing so much that he ended up becoming a good player. Everything was good and they decided to make him in the team. Everything went well until he had a red shirt. And if you do not know what that means, it's basically, it's pretty much some, it's pretty much like you're in the, you're in the team, but you're not playing, pretty much. He did it because he just, he wanted to practice and improve himself a lot. So, he was practicing a lot just to, just like, improve his work and everything so after that he met someone by the name of Carlos Carlos is pretty much one of his teammates and his friend they talked a lot they became friends and they're roommates with each other they practice and they laugh they they invited to their to some like some like birthday and everything. So everything went well, man. Everything went good until something happened. Patrick said, called one of his best friends, Carlos, saying that he was threatened. And that person is, in fact. The person was like, like somewhere like in his team. So anyways, his teammate was pretty much the enemy was one of their teammates, Harvey Thomas. Now, by the way, I couldn't mention his name because I kind of forgot, so yeah. Anyways, Harvey and Thomas was in their teams, and they said that they were threatened. Carlos said the same thing, so they decided to buy guns. They went in a shootout, and one of their roommates by the name of... Yeah, one of their college roommates, I don't really know, but... The university he worked, he was he wasn't really in the game he was a uh, he were he was pretty much in a in the university. One day he he went walked and everything. He he saw Knox, heard Knox. He opened the door and saw both both people, Patrick and Carlos. They mentioned that do not open the door if it's not them. They had rifles and other guns. So, there was a knock at the door. The, the roommate looked in the people. He saw oh, someone with a gun. He did open the door. But then, there was news articles that Patrick was missing. He wasn't in his dad's, in the stepdad's party. He wasn't in nowhere. He was just gone, disappeared, and gone. The parents decided to do a pretty much a 
missing file, like missing, missing person. And then authorities found someone who is unknown. The person is Carlos, his best friend and his teammate. They put him in jail because because they had dogs who were who they found his body but it was a bit graphic they found his body it was like decapitated there was like like the body but then the head was somewhere located probably a scavenger dog or animal must have must have pretty much put it somewhere else then Carlos lied and they, and, then they, and then he was in jail. They took him in jail. And Carlos was pretty much messed up. They took him to a therapy, no! psychiatrist, took him everywhere to no! not make him to know why he did it. After this whole thing happened, someone, or some coach, was pretty much lying. He said that Patrick was pretty much in drugs and lied. If you're wondering on what happened to the whole thing by saying this whole thing, well, let me explain on what happened to Patrick at the end. So Patrick was shooting guns, like always, like practicing. Patrick pretty much argued with Carlos. Carlos decided to shoot him. A lot of a lot of times then Carlos decided to bury him run away and decided to that that he wasn't there and then after that he wanted to he probably want he was knocking out the door at the university because the university like person the roommate they right? because he wanted to he wanted to tell him probably wanted to tell him something else or probably kill him good thing he didn't open the door and good thing he did it pretty much die after that the coach lied and said that Patrick was selling drugs and other things that he was on drugs he pretty much never he pretty much died from drugs and other things then he lied after that the NBA decided to get rid of him and, and suspend him and that's the story of Patrick Dennehyde he was a nice basketball player who his career ended shortly it's a sad story of someone who died did everything to win and did everything ah. to win and make him the best player but then that happened and another thing that I kind of like don't get it about it is that why in the world would Carlos do that to his best friend? Like maybe, maybe, probably hit, he must have done it because someone forced him to. It's just an un unknown story of a legend named Carlos, uh, of a legend named Patrick Dennehyde. Remember him becoming the best player. If that would have never happened, and if he would have never got killed, he would have been a good player. He would have been the best player ever. It's pretty much sad that someone died. And so, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And see you guys later. Also, one thing before I end this video, uh, you guys want to say happy birthday. Yeah. Bye.